In this case, it was the Berserker piece priest with his, you know, with his helmet and you know his two staves or spears. Uh, and then you know, and then he moves, and then you show a little bit more, and then you show the entire campfire, and you show you know having that shot sort of unfold, and then it sort of sits there at a certain pace, and then when they go into a frenzy, that you know, it, it, it's then that we start moving around, you know, and it's kind of this low angle coming around the fire and the, the more that they intensify, the more that we, okay, now we're gonna go in through the crowd and, you know, pick out Alex and have our shot intensify. So trying to take um, our cues, uh, our camera cues from what's going on, but at the same time, uh, distilling it, you know, getting rid of, just making sure it's all, simplifying it, you know, hopefully in the best way possible, you know, uh, you're not gonna have these people going crazy and these people in a different mode, or you know, you're gonna sort of shape it to try to make it, you know, I guess shoehorn it into whatever the, the purest version of itself it can be. It's nice having rules sometimes, like, you know, we have firelight, we have overcast, and we have sun. That's it, that's what you get. So um, having those rules, I, I kind of like, I mean, this was sort of extreme, you know, like not having, even a window <laughs> to work with, you know, but um, but it's nice to be able to um, just, uh, I guess, rule out, you know, extraneous things uh, early on. You want to fully use the set that's been built for this raid, uh, which means you tend to see it from one side of the village, and assuming the audience, or, you know and hoping that the audience is gonna assume that you're in the middle of the village, so you're only seeing half of it, but really you're seeing the whole thing. So that, that helps simplify it. Like if you sort of see the village from kind of one side of what we built using the maximum depth throughout, the, throughout, the, um, throughout all the shots. Um, so that sort of, it's, we sort of planted action um, that, that CC came up with, excuse me, we planted action that CC came up with um, around the buildings that, that were there, you know, that Craig had there, and then we sort of uh, depending on what cranes were able to do, like, oh, this distance between this building should be a little shorter, you know, and then we'll, we'll track, you know, we'll, we'll compensate by tracking more in this next shot and whatever. So, um, so it just felt natural that, um, I mean, we, we always assumed it was going to be depicted as four shots, you know, like we had four big action beats or main action beats and other like layers of secondary action beats. Um, but each, each one of those would have been a shot. Uh, we're trying to be realistic, but when you just, you know, when you're trying to work the depth of the set all the time, it's like, well, this just flows from left to right. Like, why, why do anything else? You know, I mean, there, we had to have one uh, cut to depict early on when he jumps off the palisade and lands on the horse, but you know, that's that's the best way to tell it visually anyway. Um, but other than that, you know, we're just gonna depict a, a single take, and that to me is the simpler solution than trying to shoot multi-camera, and that's just how my brain works. I'm working with Craig to make sure the camera can get to A to B to C to D, you know, um, fluidly uh, cutting pieces out, putting them back, Frankensteining sets back together, you know, whatever we had to do. Um, I uh, probably am getting spoiled by him, but um, yeah, uh, the, the art team uh, are a little fiddling with, you know, just just background details of tables and props and, you know, cheating things here or there to, to make uh, the composition, you know? So um, yeah, big, big thing, art department, and then just Dutch getting, pulling off these, uh, and, and VFX putting, you know, big, big time and, um, and finding ways to merge stuff together. Uh, I mean, the raid and, and putting, you know, stitches and things like uh, the, the thatch of a roof or, you know, oh, um, tilting down to someone about to be attacked and then tilting up and having it all blend together and feel like one piece. Um, so it really, it really was a lot of departments uh, coming together, you know, to pull this off. So, um, yeah, all these ridiculous ideas we had, uh, you know, would have been impossible without them. To bring, you know, to, to sort of make it for uh, for grownups and to depict something. Um, hopefully, it's more exciting because it is based in um, 
something real and something accurate and um, carries the extra weight of, of um, not just flights of fancy, but you know, uh, an entire way of living and a way of um, you know, a belief system and, you know, and, and, and feeling the, the anchor and the weight of that.